Would you like to learn how to reprogram your Gen 3 LSPCM yourself? First thing you, know, you really need, uh, this is arguably the most important part, the quality of the OBD2 to, o to USB adapter that you get. So this is the one that I normally use. Right. It's just an OBD Link SX. I bought it a couple years ago. They don't even make this one no more. I think they upgraded it. But this one is fairly slow. I can read and write a PCM in about 15 minutes each each time, which it's, I mean, not quick enough for me. It still works just fine, but I got something a little quicker. This is the OBDX Pro GT. This thing will read and write to a PCM in about two and a half minutes. Two, two and a half to four minutes, depending. But... That's one thing. You need a PCM, obviously. A laptop or a PC. Uh, sometimes I do it on my desktop PC, you know, if I'm not in a big hurry. But also a bench harness. So sometimes you don't really need a bench harness. If you have a very fast USB adapter like this one, I could flash a PCM while it's still in the vehicle because the battery doesn't drain that, that much in that amount of time. So depending on how fast your cable is, a bench harness is, is pretty valuable as well. Um, these are pretty easy to make. I have a video on how to make them. If you want to make your own, you can just go snip a blue connector off of a harness at the junkyard and then wire it up yourself. I wire up mine with switches. This one simulates battery power. This one simulates the ignition key being turned on. That way you can cycle the ignition after you're done with your tune to see if it worked or not. Also, the free software that you need I'm not really going to go through how to download it. You just look it up on Google and you'll find it. So Tuner Pro is one of them. Tuner Pro allows you to modify your bin files after you read it off of your PCM. And PCM Hammer. PCM Hammer allows you to connect your PC to the PCM. So that way you can read the bin file off of it, save your bin file, and also flash the new modified bin file to it. So... Those are the two programs that you need. There's other easier programs, but we're going to be going over Tuner Pro in these videos. I like it a little better. Let's connect our PCM to the bench harness and let's connect it to the PC. And I'll show you how to get the bin file off the PCM so that you can modify it. That's going to do it for this video. That was just the basic what you need, what programs you need. It's really hard to put all of this information into one short video for TikTok. I like to keep them under three minutes. The next video will go over how to get your bin file off your PCM and how to modify that bin file and put it back onto your PCM. I'll try and fit that into one video as well, but it may not happen like that. So give me a follow, guys, if you don't already follow me, and so you could see the rest of this series and learn how to program your PCM yourself. So thanks for watching, you guys. LS Swap everything.